Ladies and gentlemen, your starting lineup for tonight's running of the 50th annual Coca-Cola World 600 at the Lowe's Motor Speedway. Stuart Haas Racing has its first pole thanks to the Rocket Man, Ryan Newman, and that is his eighth pole at this facility. The Wild Thing, Kyle Busch, will start alongside. Row 2, the Wonder Boy, three-time 600 champion Jeff Gordon, and the Mark 5 of Mark Martin, the 2002 winner. Row 3, the 40, Dominate 8, has done just that with Jimmy Johnson behind the wheel with three straight 600 wins, but the driver next to him, Casey Kane, ended Jimmy's streak and won the 600 again last year. Row 4, Mike Bliss backs up his top 10 start at Richmond with another great qualifying run for James Finch. Brian Vickers hopes that this year all the wheels will stay on the Red Bulldozer. Row 5, Juan Pablo Montoya looks to add a 600 trophy to the shelf with the Borg Warner he picked up in 2000. And the Wood Brothers' first top 10 start of the season propels awesome Bill Elliott to his 800th Sprint Cup start. Row 6, Nemco, Joe Nimichek's Huckleberry's Toyota was another great story in qualifying, and the New Jersey Fury, Martin Truex Jr. Row 7, the Gibbs cars of Denny, Hammer, and Hamlin, and last week's fan vote winner, birthday boy Joey Logano, turns 19 today. Row 8 has the master of disguise, track record holder Elliot Sadler, and the Biffmeister, Greg Biffle, second in last year's 600. Row 9, the blue deuce of Kurt Busch brings back the car with which he dominated in Atlanta this spring. The need for Scott Speed rebounds from his Darlington DNQ. Row 10, it's black, it quacks, and it's sponsored by Aflac. The 99 of Catch Fence, Carl Edwards. The answer, Bobby Labonte won for the first time in the 1995 running of this race. Row 11, Hudeman, David Hudeman was 10th here last year, and happy Kevin Harvick rolls out 22nd. The 12th row has the Tasmanian Devil, Marcus Ambrose, and the warrior from Emporia, Clint Boyer. Row 13, the Buckeye Bullets, Dave Blaney was very strong in the showdown last week, and this week has one of Rudeman's backup cars. Next to him, it's stunning Sam Hornish Jr., the showdown winner. Row 14, fan favorite Dale Earnhardt Jr. bounced off the wall here last year and still finished fifth. The Rushville Rocket, Tony Stewart, looks to follow up his monumental win in last week's All-Star Race with another in the 600 tonight. Row 15 belongs to David Gilliland, the racers group with new sponsorship this week, and 2000 World 600 winner, Mighty Matt Kenseth. Row 16, the bright yellow fella, Paul Menard's fabulous fluorescent Ford, and Mad Max Pappas for Jermaine Racing. Row 17, Joplin, Missouri's Jamie McMurray, and his Roush Fenway teammate, the amazing David Reagan. Row 18, David Beat Me Up Stremmy in the Penske Dodge, and Agent Sigalo 7, Casey Mears, was a surprise winner in 2007. Row 19, Robbie Gordon's Operation Homefront Toyota, and the Hunt Brothers Pizza Colors of A.J. Allmendinger. Row 20, the Napa Maniac, Michael Waltrip, makes his 48th start here at the Lowe's Motor Speedway. The Mayor, two-time 600 champion Jeff Burton, also won here last fall. Row 21, Tony, have you ever seen the reins, drives car 34, while John Andretti's running a very hard-fought Indy 500. Reed 43 Sorensen carries the Air Force Colors. And in Row 22, all by himself, Scotty Riggs had an outstanding standing run here in the 2006 running and swept both Charlotte Poles that season. Four teams failed to qualify. J.J. Yaley in the bailout bomber, Mike Biscuits and Garvey in car 73, The Onion, Todd Bodine with the Gunselman gang, and David Starr driving the Trevor Boys car. And ladies and gentlemen, there's your field for tonight's 50th annual Coca-Cola World 600.